G'day and uh, happy 2023. Um, it's going to be a challenging year, but we've, we've got this. Um, this is, I left um, a lot of carrots and a lot of potatoes out there to see how much punishment they could take. Um, being left in the ground, the carrots have fared really, really, really well. They just obviously need cleaning up. Some of the potatoes had gone a bit soft, um, but not many. I'd say 80% of them were fine. Um, so I'm going to use these as seed potatoes, um, stick them up in the loft where it's dry and cool. The carrots, uh, I'll be scrubbing them up, um, cooking them. I've been getting into the practice of, of leaving like a couple of centimetres at the top and then replanting them and it does seem to work. So in theory, to a certain degree, you might not need to buy carrot seeds again. So this is my part of my last, I've got about this amount left out there. Um, none of it will go to waste apart from obviously the soft potatoes. And uh, the carrots, um, I'll just pick as I need them. So on with the lights. Now I know um, just dehydrated some more veg there. It still gives me a buzz at how fast this stuff rehydrates. Um, the sweet corn in there takes a little bit longer than the rest, but not long. It's really impressive. And that'd be good for years. So these lights, now, the great thing about these lights is that if you strategically place them throughout your home so that there's a little tiny bit of an overlap, they come on as you approach and go off behind you. So I've been living like that. I'm doing a video today, so I've got the lights on. But generally speaking... I've got one on there, I have one up there, which is magnetic. So, you know, there's no drilling involved for that particular one. And um, the fridge, I've also got one just underneath there, if you can make it out, just there as well. I've got one halfway up the stairs, one at the top of the landing, one in the bedroom. I've got them all over the place. I do I do try and switch them off during the day because whilst they're on auto, um, they're still using battery power. And just like anything else that's rechargeable, um, it'll only recharge a certain amount of cycles. I mean, it's a lot of cycles. You get a lot of cycles out of them. But again, you know, it's just trying to make stuff last as long as possible. Um, these ones are probably my least favorite because they're the cheapest. You do get what you pay for. Um, these, these ones are perfect for under, under stairs, cupboards and stuff. Um, and they're just adhesive. It's a strong adhesive though, so put some proper thought into where you're going to put them because you will take some of your uh, some of your wallpaper off if, off if you change your mind. <laughs> so, so that's it really. I mean, it, I've been living like this now for for two about two months, just shy of two months. And I've, I've almost gotten out of the habit of reaching for the light switch in each room now. And I keep one room warm. Just trying to get used to it. Um, because it'll be less of an impact on you when these power cuts finally come around. And they will come around, you know. And I do think it's another thing that they're going to have to be very careful about. Because it is going to piss a lot of people off. Even the normies. No. Um, I'll leave links to the, I mean, you'll probably find them cheaper than the links that I'll 
put up in the, I'll, I'll pin them up in the, in the comments section you you might find them cheaper but i'm going to put these are tried and tested so they're probably going to be identical to these so shop around just do a little bit of shopping around but I'm, i'll put links up to the ones that i've to the to the sellers that i've purchased from um just so that you you know if there's any comeback it's on me and i'll i'll take that i hope you've been uh, checking out the community section i've been trying to put stuff on there daily um some of it's a bit miserable some of it's a bit more light-hearted and some of it's just there to make you think a little while back i just like probably most if not all of you guys i just thought to myself i'm just one i'm just one person you know how can i how can i change the tide the thing is i'm i'm one of hundreds of millions of people that are saying no that's power that's unbridled power and i mean that if you really think about it it's a fact you know there is strength in numbers but it it's all down to how much you mean that no. When you say no, you've got to mean it, you know, from the fibre of your soul, no matter what. There's too many people worried about consequences. And I'm telling you, if you've got enough faith in yourself, you'll make it through this. I'm telling you. So let's gear up. Let's get ready. Let's continue to prep and uh, and be there for each other. Let's keep that dialogue going in the comments section. Um, I'm digging myself out of this hole. I'm trying to stop wallowing in self pity um, because it's not. It's, it's just it gets me nowhere. It will get you nowhere. So. 2003 is a year of strength, endurance and solidarity. Okay, bear that in mind. When you say no, mean it. So I'm going to try and do more videos more often now because I am, I have tried to, you know, I'm, I'm, I am, I'm telling myself 2003, a fresh year, a fresh attitude and, uh, it does that, that, you know, if you drill it into yourself hard enough, it does work. So I'm sending genuine love and light out to all of you. Have a think about these. They are relatively inexpensive. You don't need to buy as many as I've got. I did get, I have gone a bit over the top, but I like spares of spares of spares. But money is becoming a problem for me now, just like it is for you know, many of you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. Something for you to ponder over. And, uh, yeah, you can't be a little bit of light in the darkness. So, ciao for now.